this is Jason Porter with the developers.redhat.com, the developers program with uh, Sane Grinovio. I was, I was close, right? Yeah. Yeah, all right. <laughs> uh, and he works uh, on a lot of the data stuff. Hibernate, Hibernate Search, um, yep. Infinispan. A bit of Infinispan, yeah. Yep. So I, my, my job is primarily to work on the Hibernate portfolio, but in Hibernate we are integrating uh, several different kinds of platforms, not just relational databases. So yeah, I have a wider interest than just relational. I am specialized myself in the integration with uh, Lucene and search engines. So more recently, we have been integrating uh, Elasticsearch uh, as an alternative mm. integration on top of the one that we already had uh, with Lucene. And we also have been integrating Lucene into Infinispan and um, extending Hibernate to be able to talk with uh, NoSQL database. Oh, interesting. Very good. Very good. What's the, what's the, the um, so you're, you're talking about the, the Hibernate uh, NoSQL or, or uh, OGM projects, right? Yes. OK. Mm -hmm. and what, uh, which which databases do we support? Okay, well, support is a big word. <laughs> um, we have, which, uh, which databases can I use this with? Yes, so each NoSQL database has some strong areas and some weaker points, so you cannot just support everything on each of them. Sure. Uh, so we have uh, a varying amount of quality among some of these, so now we're actually in the process of uh, splitting out the ones which are a bit more experimental in a separate repository okay. to make it clearer for people which ones we consider like stable and good enough to, to actually use and the ones which uh, might need some more help from so the that, community. So that, that would be another dependency I, I add? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So at this point, among the, the pretty stable ones, we have an integration with the MongoDB. That mm -hmm. was because it was uh, quite uh, widely requested sure, by the community. Sure. We also have um, integration with Neo4j, which is uh, a surprisingly good fit for the, the, the model because you have uh, uh, Java objects, which are, you know, they are related with uh -huh. uh, connections, yep. and this maps uh, really well into a graph database. And uh, so the Neo4j integration evolved into a quite robust one. Uh, Very good. And we obviously support uh, the Infinispan integration quite well uh -huh. because I'm involved with Infinispan team, so we have been uh, collaborating uh, very closely with Infinispan to make sure that this integration is, is pretty solid. Excellent. Uh, what about um, Couch or um, yes. Cassandra? So we have uh, a Couch-based uh, couch uh, integration. Um, this is uh, working as far as I know, but we didn't have much feedback from the community, so I wouldn't know how far uh, this is to be considered robust at this point. Okay, all right. Uh, it probably needs a bit more maintenance and a bit more testing before we can promote it further. Um, we also have uh, a work in progress for uh, Cassandra integration, um, but that's also not really ready at this point. Okay, mm -hmm. very good. Uh, with uh, Hibernate Search, now you, that works primarily with, uh, with Hibernate ORM. Does it also work with OGM? Yes, absolutely. So Hibernate OGM is just a, a set of extensions for Hibernate ORM. So a very nice thing about using Hibernate OGM is that any other framework which is integrating with Hibernate ORM is automatically inheriting the capabilities for OGM because it's uh, the same, literally the same uh, Java classes. Excellent. Very good. Very good. And what, what for you is the, the most exciting part about working with the, uh, the data projects at Red Hat? Uh, so personally, I see it as a challenge to get these the, the applications to be to make it easy to use these databases in all forms and still be relatively efficient and fast like I'm a bit of uh, personally have a passion for concurrency and performance and it's quite challenging to uh, translate these benefits into a framework while maintaining uh, uh, ease of use for uh, the average developer and uh, maintaining like a high level of productivity without everybody required to be a full expert in the, the low level details. Right, uh, that's that's one of those things that uh, I, I hear quite a bit. Uh, just, uh, you know, how, how well is Hibernate going to work for my particular use case versus, I don't know, rolling my own SQL kind of thing. You know, which, which is yep. kind of that back mm -hmm. and forth that you get regardless of which uh, mapping software you're using. Th there's always going to be that, that trade off. Yeah, exactly. If, if there is an abstraction, you're always going to hide some details, and these details might be important in some cases. Now, uh, if you are expert in Hibernate, you know we have uh, extension points for pretty much anything, so you can always assume 
as soon as you are good enough to be able to identify what is your bottleneck and what you would like to behave differently, then you can for sure tune it to actually do uh -huh. like you want it. Yeah, so you can use hinting yes. and some, some some of the other things. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good, very good. And uh, what what have you liked the most so far here at Summit? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, what what have you liked the most here at Summit? I know this is only day two, but uh, what what did you like about day one at Summit? Okay, so. Yeah, the, the most interesting part for me is really to meet all the people who are using our projects uh, so that we get like face-to-face -face conversations and debates. And like yesterday, there were, I was at the experts bar pretending to be an expert. On <laughs> <laughs> and uh, how, how well did that turn out? Two, two people from the same team or working on the same company, they came to me, basically they had a fight among each other like, I want to use uh, EAP because of some benefits and the other wants to use the Spring Boot because of some other benefits uh -huh. and they were saying some people in the team want to use Vertex and so like tell us what we should do and okay <laughs> well uh, of course each of these have some strong uh, points so sure. it depends what you want to do but then we you know we dived into the benefits of each of these and you know these kind of conversations I, I really love those because we I get to learn more about what people think and what they think are like weak points of some of the things we do or right. how we can improve our things. Oh, very good, very good. Alrighty, thank you, Sonny. Thank you very much.